In this video, we will learn how to install WordPress in Zamp. You see, I am running a WordPress website on localhost. After watching this video, you will know the easiest method of WordPress installation on Zamp without editing any code. So at first, open the Zamp and start the Apache and MySQL. By the way, I already installed Zamp on my computer. The complete tutorial is uploaded to our channel. Check this video description to find the link. So when this status shows running, go to localhost from your browser. Then click on PHP My Admin. Now we need to create a database for our WordPress installation. Click on New, give a database name. I'm giving WP Wiki. Then click Create. Database created. Now we have to download WordPress to our computer. Just search WordPress Download and click on Download. I already downloaded that. Extract here. You can see the files. Copy or cut the WordPress folder. Then go to the ZAMP installation folder. If you don't find it anyhow, just find the ZAMP icon from the start menu. Right click, then open file location. If you see this page, click on open file location again, then you will see this. Now go to htdocs and paste the WordPress folder we copied. Now rename it as you want. I am naming it to WP Wiki, so my localhost domain will look like this. Once you paste it successfully, go to your browser and go to your website directory. For me, it's localhost slash WP Wiki. Always remember, when it is the first time, it always takes time. Choose English. Continue. Then go Next. Give the database name you created. The username must be root because to make the tutorial easier, we haven't changed the default database username. Blank the password. Now submit. Run installation. Give the WordPress installation details. WordPress was installed successfully. Let's log in to our WordPress website. Yes, successfully logged in. You can now use this dashboard as a live website. You can delete plugins or add plugins very easily. So this is the video on how to install WordPress in Zamp or how to install WordPress on a local computer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section and please subscribe.